Welcome to another episode of Indie Bits, the show where I play about an hour or two of a game that a developer sends me and tell you guys exactly what I thought of it within that one to two hours. Today's game is called Reventure. Released for PC just this past June from developer and publisher Pixelato, Reventure is an adventure game with a hundred different endings. And boy is it... Not at all what I expected when I started to play this game. A friend of mine showed me Revenger and told me a bit about it, and it sounded pretty cool, but when I saw that it had a hundred different endings... Well, I just had to play that sucker right away. And so I reached out to Pixelotto to request a review code, and well, here we are. I mean, you're watching the video. And I gotta say, it was well worth the experience. If you've ever played or seen a playthrough of games like King's Quest, where you just never know when something that seems like it's probably gonna be fine ends up killing you, well, that's basically what you can expect a lot in Reventure. Sometimes the deaths are obvious, like falling into lava, and sometimes they're kind of unexpected and out of nowhere. Now, when I say deaths, I do use the term loosely. The endings don't always actually result in death, most of them end up in some kind of hilarious injury, or by you committing some kind of crime of some sort, but then afterwards the adventure continues on and you try again. The ultimate goal is to save the princess. You start off as little Tim here, and as your adventures continue you might end up playing as somebody else. There's a lot of different possibilities. I don't want to spoil how you get some of the endings, but I will show just a couple of them because they're pretty funny. The game is not short on humor. The great thing about Reventure is each time you start the next run, as long as you take a different path or try something different, you never know what the outcome is gonna be. Having or not having specific items when you get to certain areas can totally affect the outcome. One thing I absolutely love about this game and its sense of humor is that once you reach certain endings, you continue on in the next run, visibly affected by that ending. If you push the wrong lever and get squished by a falling platform, you're gonna end up as a sack of flesh with broken bones everywhere and your limbs flailing about because you can no longer move them. And it's... Just the greatest thing. Or getting reconstructive surgery that you take too far and suddenly you're beautiful with glorious blonde flowing hair. The game encourages you to explore and try to find your own path. It does give you hints from time to time, but it's up to you to figure out what exactly those hints are hinting at. As you explore more and more, there are plenty of surprises around every corner. And even when you're very careful, you just never know when something is going to be the end of you. Look at it as your playing field, where if you see something that you want to try to do, try it and see what the outcome might be. You might be successful and find a new path to explore, or you might just end up with broken legs. But hey, it happens. Again, I've only played for a couple hours, so I've yet to see every ending, but I have gotten quite a few of them just through experimenting on my own and trying to get a bunch of them to show you a few of them in this video. The game is $8, and I think for that it's well worth the experience. Look, if open-ended gameplay that encourages exploration and experimentation sounds like something for you, give Reventure a shot. Try to get all 100 endings, or at least the true ending. Assuming that the true ending doesn't involve getting all the other 99. Not really sure. 